Conservation Corner, brought to you by Pelagic, high performance offshore gear. Few fisheries rival Flamingo as a world-class shallow water angling mecca. The tiny coastal settlement sits on the tip of the Florida Peninsula and is the southernmost headquarters for the largest subtropical wilderness in the entire U.S. Boasting hundreds of fish species, along with rare and endangered animals, birds, and fauna, Everglades National Park has been designated a World Heritage Site, International Biosphere Reserve, and Wetland of International Importance. Biologists believe nearly 90% of all juvenile fish spend time in the glades, which is currently undergoing a 30-year restoration project. Light tackle enthusiasts appreciate the region's wide array of venues, with tidal lakes connected by a maze of winding creeks and expansive flats, and uninhabited islands all home to tarpon, redfish, snook, and sea trout. Grand slams are common, with grouper, sheep's head, snapper, and triple tail regularly encountered. While rich in life, Flamingo and its inhabitants are in peril. Development and farming continue to starve the Everglades of naturally flowing water. The bottom line is that the region's game fish are worth much more alive than dead, so please handle fish intended for release with extreme care. The same applies to seagrass. Without it, none of us will experience any level of angling success now or in the future. Prop scars are unsightly and leave a flat wounded for decades. When running the shallows, remain in designated channels where you know there is ample water and respect pole troll zones. If you're new to Flamingo, spend a day or two with a local guide before attempting to tackle the region on your own. Finally, never leave anything behind. Discarded plastic and refuse go on damaging the ecosystem for years. Respect Flamingo and the Everglades National Park, and the fish gods will reward you.